All right, boys, today we're going to be going over the fastest way to end up getting XP in MLB The Show 23. Season 2 just ended up coming out. It's absolutely disgusting. And if you guys want to know how you guys can end up getting the very end of the program and getting the whole season done and the whole collection done, we are going to be talking about how you guys are going to end up doing it. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys drop a like and a sub as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I believe we just hit 9K. So thank you so much, and let's get right into the video. All right, boys, so the first thing is going to be the... The first thing that I recommend that you guys end up doing if you're wanting to do not only earn XP but also work towards getting set to collection done and getting Team Affinity is doing this. So what you are going to want to end up doing is you're going to want to go to create in the top right and you're going to want to press on stadium creator. Now whenever you do this you're going to need this for both methods and you're going to want to end up downloading the Hattie RTTS glitch in MLB The Show 23. And this is going to be really good because you are going to get home runs on just fly out to left. The elevation is crazy. You're going to be scoring like 20 to 30 runs a game versus like the CPU or mini seasons. And so make sure that you have this equipped. And one way that you can totally utilize this to get a ton of XP. And this is like the most like active way, way. you'll end up getting roughly about 40 to 50,000 XP per hour. I'm not joking. On this elevated stadium, if you are staying locked in, this is one of the best things to do. So make sure that you have this downloaded and you're going to press on this. You're going to go to Diamond Dynasty and you're going to and you're going to end up starting a mini season. Now, this is really important that whenever you were doing your mini season, that you were using all of the henchmen that you've already gotten from the AL Central or whatever team affinity program you're trying to go after first. So, for example, if you're going after the Central, make sure that whenever you create your lineup, you are creating it with all NL Central players. So it's going to be Central players, so it'll end up helping you guys go through that. And you're only going to play the home games on rookie difficulty because it's not going to affect the XP that you get. So play it on rookie difficulty with your home stadium being the Hattie Road to the Show glitch. And that'll be really helpful for whenever you end up going at it. So this is one of the best ways to end up doing it. Now we're going to go over the most brain dead easy method. This is going to make you less XP per hour, but it's still going to get you about 30 to 40,000 XP and it will help you a ton. But I wanted to go over how that is probably the best to end up doing if you are grinding mini seasons that you're going to want to make sure you have that on there. It's also going to be really good, right? For XP, so it's the best of both worlds. But if you're wanting to just grind straight XP, this is what you're going to do. You're going to end up going to create, you're going to press on vault, and you're going to go to rosters. Now, one thing you're going to do whenever you're here is you're going to sort it by ascending. That way you can get the ones that are the most popular that we are going to be using today. And that is going to be the XP grind any team in the bottom right. You're going to press on it and you're going to download it. Now, whenever you download this, uh, make sure that you can name it whatever you want. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. Now, as soon as you end up downloading it, how you're going to go about it is you go to file management and you go to load. You press on rosters and you end up actually pressing on the saved roster that you end up having and you press on this just to make sure that you have it there sometimes it'll like glitch out and you won't have the roster there but it's important that you have it right there now whenever you end up downloading that you're going to press on a road to the show character and you're going to press start new you press x to start new i had a couple of comments wondering how you start a new profile if you've already maxed out a ball player all you have to do is go to the top left in your ball player and press a different archetype that you haven't grinded yet Press on load saved roster and you're going to press on the XP grind any team that you just ended up downloading. That way it is part of it. And whenever you're starting your ball player archetype, you can do one of two things. Now, if you want to get the most XP possible, make sure that you make it just a pitcher. If you also want to end up making it the best archetype and it's a little bit harder to grind, you're going to get about 3,000 less XP. Make it a two-way player because that will end up helping you guys whenever you're grinding the full program. But for the XP grind for the method, do a starting pitcher archetype. That way you will get all of the missions and get it done quicker. So new ball player, we're going to make him a pitcher, a velocity, and a starting pitcher. We're going to confirm and continue that. And as far as all of the motions go, the one thing you're going to want to change to make it go quicker, motions and sounds, you're going to go to animations, and we're doing Tyler Rogers this year. So current players, I believe it's on page, it's on page 26. You press on Tyler Rogers, make sure that you press start so you finish the player and you accept the changes and you start your career. Now, what's so great about this method is it's super easy and mind numbing. This is something that's not hard at all. And this is also something that is just simple. Like you can watch Netflix while doing this. 
Uh, you can watch Mandalorian, you can watch baseball, you can watch Outer Banks, you can watch whatever's on your mind, whatever you want to grind right now. But whatever you're doing, you're not going to have to really pay attention to your screen too much. This is something that I like doing every single night just because it's something easy. Like as I'm winding down, I love watching baseball every night. I'm a Cardinals and a Tigers fan. And so I like watching the Cardinals play, even though they're terrible. And the Detroit Tigers because they're my bandwagon team and I love them. Um, they're actually picking it up right now, so they're killing it. And so I just watch the game and while I'm doing that, all you're gonna have to do is spam A and it's just, it's super simple. Also, another thing that some people have been doing is if you have PS4 remote play or Xbox remote play, you can actually download an auto clicker on your uh, PC and you can end up auto clicking it to where it'll do this thing all for you without you having to do it at all. But just kind of something to keep in mind as if you are really a grinder and you're someone that wants to find the easiest way to go about it, that is a loophole right now and people are doing it. It's just a little bit harder because you have to have remote play for Xbox or PlayStation. But whenever you're in this screen, you're not gonna really have to do anything. You're just gonna be playing these games and doing these starts. Um, what's so good about this is not only are you gonna be pitching against one overall players on rookie difficulty, so you're gonna be getting a ton of strikeouts and a ton of XP, and it's gonna be easy. But another big thing is that whenever you're grinding this, you're gonna be getting ball player program XP. So this will happen like once a game or once every other game that you'll just randomly get like 5,000 XP. A couple of the settings to make it go really quick that I have been doing is you're gonna to wanna to go to presentation. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's on fast play. And then as far as gameplay goes, I like to make sure that my uh, pitching interface is on classic. And the reason why I do this is it makes it the easiest. So you can just spam A. Like I said, I like doing this really easy and not having to think about it. And so I'll run this for at night, every single night while I'm grinding it. And I will just, I'll leave it on and I'll just, I'll just spam A while I'm watching TV. I, uh, I have two monitors at my setup or I have uh, like my monitor that I'm playing on in a laptop up here. And so I'll just be watching a game and I'll be grinding this. You're going to end up still getting like 30 to 40,000 XP per hour doing this. It's a little, it's, it's less good than just grinding many seasons. I will say that. But the thing about this method is that it's so easy. And whenever there's double XP weekends and you're able to get like 60 to 70,000 an hour, sometimes even 80,000, if you're getting towards the end of the ball player program, it's, it's really nice to know. It's really nice to know. Um, it helps a lot. Another thing that you can end up doing with this is that whenever your player gets good enough, you can make him a starting pitcher in your rotation. If you want to make him really cheesy, you can make him left-handed and throw like a screwball and like a slurve and be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Some people don't like doing that. If you like it, I don't really care about it. I feel like it's part of the game. I feel like caps in general are just really broken, but this is the best way to go about like XP this year and grind XP. It's not too difficult, so make sure that you guys are taking advantage of this and grinding this whenever you're ending up doing the whole collection. Occasionally, you'll get a comebacker and you'll need to throw it to first, um, but other than that, you're really not doing much because you're player locked as the ball player. And versus these rookie hitters, make sure that your difficulty is on rookie. That is one thing that I think I messed up. Uh, make sure that the gameplay pitching difficulty, it's on amateur right here, that's fine. But usually I just put it on rookie just cause. I think amateur is worse than rookie, but I'm not sure. But uh, both of them are pretty bad. So just make sure that you have it on that. You're gonna be getting a ton of strikeouts. It won't be that difficult. And they're one overall, so their discipline's really low. So if you throw balls outside the zone, they swing almost every single time, especially in plus counts. So just kind of keep that in mind while you're grinding it. Usually I just go two heaters and like a change up down. And it usually works almost every time. Like I said, they're not that good. So there's another strikeout, a swing and a miss. But this is how I'm grinding XP this year. And this is how I'm going about it. This is just the best way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, mini seasons is great. The Hattie Road of the show is great. Another good thing you can end up doing is if you think that there's something that's better in the comment section below, make sure that you say it in the comments and I'll, I'll pin it. But this is what's worked for me over the past like couple years when I've been grinding programs and I love it. I absolutely love it. This is the method that I fell in love with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, make sure that you smash that like and sub button as we're getting closer to 10K. Again, thank you so much. I appreciate the subs lately. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day and peace.